What Allah said in the Quran about Jesus, son of Mary, peace be upon him, part 3. Twelfth, reminder that Allah took a pledge from Jesus and those prophets and messengers before him that they will establish the true religion and not disagree with regard to it. That is to worship Allah alone by acts of worship he has prescribed. They pledge to call the people to worship him, to affirm the truthfulness of one another and to advise their people. Allah Almighty says. And, remember, when we took from the prophets their covenant and from you, O prophet, and from Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus, son of Mary, we took from them a solemn covenant. So that he may question the truthful about their truthfulness, and he has prepared for the disbelievers a painful punishment. Surat al Azab, 7-8 O Messenger, remember when I took a firm covenant from the Prophets that they will worship Allah alone and not associate any partner with Him, and that they will convey the revelation sent to them. And I have taken it especially from you, and from Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus son of Mary. I have taken a firm covenant from them to fulfill the conveying of Allah's messages they have been entrusted with. Allah took this firm covenant from the Prophets so He can ask the truthful messengers regarding their truthfulness to silence the disbelievers. And Allah has prepared for those who disbelieve in him and his messengers a painful punishment on the day of judgment, and it is the fire of hell. Al-Azab, 7-8 Allah Almighty says. And, remember, when Allah took the covenant of the prophets, saying, After I have given you the book and wisdom, if there comes to you a messenger confirming what is with you, then you must believe in him and support him. Allah said. Do you affirm this covenant and accept this commitment? They said, Yes, we do. He said, Then bear witness, and I am with you among the witnesses. Surat al-Imran, 81 Remember, O Messenger, when Allah took an affirmed promise from the prophets, saying to them, If I give you a revealed book, teach you wisdom and make you reach a high rank and status, and then my messenger comes to you confirming the book and wisdom that you have, then you must accept what he brings and help him as his followers. Do you, O prophets, accept this and give me a firm commitment for that? They replied, We accept that. Allah said, Bear witness against yourselves and your communities, and I will also be a witness against you and them. Ali Imran, 81 He has prescribed for you, believers, the same religion which he enjoined upon Noah, and that which we have revealed to you, O prophet, and that which we enjoined upon Abraham, Moses, and Jesus. You should uphold the religion and make no divisions therein. What you are calling the polytheists to is very hard for them. Allah chooses for himself whom he wills, and guides to himself who turns to him. Surat Ashura, 13 he has ordained for you religious matters similar to what, instructed Noah to convey and act on and what I have revealed to you, O Messenger. He has ordained for you similar to what I instructed Abraham, Moses and Jesus to convey and act on. The gist of this is, uphold the religion and leave out division therein. What you call the idolaters towards, such as the declaring the oneness of Allah and leaving out the worship of others besides him, is difficult for them. Allah chooses whichever of his servants he wills and guides them to his worship and obedience and he guides to him those of them who return to him by repenting from their sins. Ashura, 13 Thirteenth, explaining some reasons for the curse and humiliation of the Jews, and Allah's anger inflicted upon them, Allah Almighty says. They were cursed, for breaking their covenant, rejecting the signs of Allah, killing the prophets unjustly, and for their saying, our hearts are wrapped up. Rather, it is Allah who has sealed them for their disbelief. So none of them will believe except a few and for their disbelief and for their monstrous allegation against Mary, and for their saying, we killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. the messenger of Allah. But they did not kill him nor did they crucify him, but it was made to appear to them so. Even those who dispute about it are in doubt, they have no certain knowledge other than conjecture. But they certainly did not kill him. Rather, Allah raised him up to himself, and Allah is almighty, all-wise. There will be none from the people of the book, but will believe in him, upon his return, before his death, and on the day of resurrection he will be a witness against them. Surat Anissa, 155 to 159. 
I distanced them from my mercy because they broke the promise that was taken from them, disbelieved in Allah's words, boldly killed the prophets and said to Muhammad, Peace be upon him. Our hearts are covered, so we cannot understand what you say that is not the case. Instead, Allah has sealed their hearts so no good reaches them. They only have a little faith, which will not be of any use to them. And I distanced them from my mercy because they disbelieved and because they falsely accused Mary of fornication. I cursed them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions and laws. Anissa 155-159 14th, Forbidding Exaggeration About the Status of Jesus, Peace Be Upon Him Allah Almighty says, O people of the book do not go to extremes in your religion and do not say about Allah but the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger of Allah and his word that he bestowed upon Mary and a spirit from him. So believe in Allah and his messengers and do not say three, Trinity. Cease, that is better for you. Indeed, Allah is the only one God. Glory be to him, far exalted is he, to have a son. To him belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is on earth, and sufficient is Allah as a disposer of affairs. The Messiah would never disdain to be a slave of Allah, nor would the nearest angels to him. Those who disdain to worship him and are arrogant, he will gather them all together before him. As for those who believe and do righteous deeds, he will give them their rewards in full and will increase them out of his bounty. But those who disdain and act arrogantly, he will subject them to a painful punishment, and they will not find for themselves any protector or helper besides Allah. Surat and Nisa, 171-173 Say, O Messenger, to the Christians who received the Gospel, do not overstep the limits in your religion and do not say anything but the truth about Allah in relation to Jesus. The Messiah, Jesus, Son of Mary, is only Allah's Messenger sent with the truth. He created him by his word, which he sent with Gabriel to Mary, which was the word be, and he became. It was a breath from Allah, which Gabriel blew with Allah's instruction. So have faith in Allah and all his messengers without making a distinction between them. Do not say, the gods are three foot. Avoid saying this false statement and it will be better for you in this world and the afterlife. Allah is the only one God free of any partner or child. He is self-sufficient. The dominion of the heavens, the earth and whatever is in between the two is his. He is sufficient as a guardian to carry out the affairs of his creation. Jesus, son of Mary, will never be proud and reject being a servant of Allah. The close angels who do not go against Allah's instruction and who do as they are instructed will also never disregard being Allah's servants. How, then, do you take Jesus as a god? How do the idolaters take angels as gods? If anyone rejects worshipping Allah and turns away from it, that he will gather all of them before him on the day of rising and will recompense each one with what they deserve. Those who have faith in Allah, accept his messenger and do good actions with sincerity in agreement with the sacred law, he will give them the reward of their actions without any reduction. In addition, he will give them more out of his grace and kindness. As for those who scorned Allah's worship and obedience and were arrogant, he will punish them with a painful torment. Besides Allah, they will not find any friend to bring any benefit to them nor any helper to protect them from harm. Anissa 171-173 15th, Brief Account on Jesus' Life, starting with giving Mary glad tidings of his birth until Allah Almighty took him and raised him up to himself. Allah Almighty says. And, remember, when the angels said, O Mary, Allah has chosen you, purified you, and chosen you over all women. O Mary, worship your Lord devoutly, prostrate yourself and bow down with those who bow down. This is from the stories of the unseen that we reveal to you, O Prophet. You were not with them when they cast lots as to which of them should take guardianship of Mary, nor were you with them when they disputed about it. Remember, when the angels said, O Mary, Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from him, whose name will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. Honorable in this world and in the hereafter, and one of those near, to Allah. 
He will speak to people in the cradle and in maturity, and he will be one of the righteous. She said. My lord, how can I have a child when no man has ever touched me? He said, thus Allah creates what he wills. When he decrees something, he only says to it be, and it is. And he will teach him writing and wisdom, the Torah, and the Gospel. And, will send him as, a messenger to the children of Israel, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord that I make for you from clay the figure of a bird, then breathe into it. And it will become a bird by Allah's permission, and I heal the blind and the leper, and bring the dead to life by Allah's permission. And I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your houses. There is a sign in this for you, if you are believers. And, I have come, confirming the Torah that came before me, and to make lawful to you some of what was forbidden to you, and I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, so fear Allah and obey me. Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him. This is the straight path. When Jesus sensed disbelief from them, he said, Who are my helpers in the cause of Allah? The disciples said, We are helpers of Allah. We believe in Allah, so bear witness that we are Muslims. Our Lord, we believe in what you have sent down and we follow the messenger. So count us among those who bear witness to the truth. And, the disbelievers, devised a plan, but Allah also made a plan, and Allah is the best of planners. And, remember, when Allah said, O oh Jesus, I will take you and raise you up to myself and deliver you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you above those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. Then you will all return to me, and I will judge between you concerning that over which you differed. As for those who disbelieve, I will punish them severely in this world and the hereafter, and they will have no helpers. As for those who believe and do righteous deeds, he will give them their rewards in full, and Allah does not like their own doers. This is what we recite to you of the verses and the wise reminder. The similitude of Jesus before Allah is like that of Adam, he created him from dust, then said to him, Be, and he was. This is the truth from your Lord, so do not be of those who doubt. Whoever disputes with you concerning him, Jesus, after the knowledge has come to you, then say, Come, let us call our sons and your sons, our women and your women, ourselves and yourselves. Then invoke the curse of Allah upon the liars. Indeed, this is the true narrative, and none has the right to be worshipped except Allah, and Allah is the Almighty, the All-Wise. If they turn away, then Allah is all-knowing of those who spread corruption. Say, O people of the book, come to a common term between us and you, that we worship none but Allah and associate no partners with him, and that we do not take one another as lords besides Allah. But if they turn away, say, bear witness that we are Muslims, submitting to Allah. O people of the book! Why do you dispute about Abraham, while the Torah and the Gospel were not sent down but after him? Do you not understand? Here you are. You are those who disputed about that of which you have some knowledge, then why do you dispute about that of which you have no knowledge? Allah knows and you do not know. Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was a monotheist Muslim, and he was not one of the polytheists. The closest people to Abraham are those who followed him, and this prophet, and those who believe. And Allah is the guardian of the believers. Surat al-Imran, 42-68 Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said to Mary, Peace be upon her Allah has chosen you because of the praiseworthy qualities you have. He has purified you from all defects, and chosen you over all the other women of your time. O Mary, stand for long periods in prayer, prostrate to your Lord, and bow down with his righteous servants who bow down to him. The story of Zechariah and Mary is one of the reports of, the Gabe, which I reveal to you, O Messenger. You were not there with those scholars and worshippers when they argued about who was most entitled to raise Mary. They eventually decided to draw lots by throwing their pens, and the pen of Zechariah, peace be upon him, won. Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said, O Mary, Allah gives you good news of a child who will be created without a father. Merely by a word from Allah, such as be, and he will become a child by Allah's will. The name of this child will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will have a high rank in this world and the afterlife and he will be one of those who are made close to Allah. This child will miraculously speak to people when he is a small baby, as well as when he grows up and becomes a man. He will tell them what is best for them in their religious and worldly affairs. He will also be one of those who are righteous in their words and actions. Mary was surprised that she was to have a child without a husband and said in astonishment, How can I have a child when no man has come near me in a lawful or unlawful way? The angel said to her, Just as Allah will create a child for you without a father, he creates whatever he wishes even though it may be out of the ordinary. When Allah wishes for something, he says be an itis. 
nothing can stop him doing as he wills. Allah will teach him to say and do things correctly, and he will teach him the Torah that he had revealed to Moses, peace be upon him, and the gospel which he will reveal to him. Allah will make him a messenger to the Israelites, instructing him to say to them, I am Allah's messenger to you. I have brought to you a sign indicating my prophethood, I will make the shape of a bird using clay, then I will breathe into it and it will become a living bird by Allah's permission. I will cure the one who is born blind, so that he will be able to see, and the leper who will recover from his illness, and I will bring the dead to life. I will do all of this with Allah's permission. I will tell you about what you consume and what you hide in your homes. In all of these extraordinary things that I mention to you, which human beings cannot do, is a clear sign that I am Allah's messenger to you, if you wish to have faith and to accept the proof. I have come to you to confirm the revelation of the Torah that was before me, and to make lawful some of that which was unlawful in the past, making things easy for you. I have brought to you a clear proof of the truthfulness of what I say, so be mindful of Allah by fulfilling His instructions and avoiding His prohibitions, and follow that which I call you to. Allah is my Lord and your Lord, and He is the only one that deserves to be followed and feared. So, worship Him alone. This worship of Allah and being mindful of Him that I instruct you to do is the straight path which has no crookedness. When Jesus realized that they were going to continue in their disbelief, he addressed the Israelites, saying, Who will help me in calling towards Allah? His chosen followers said, We are the ones who will help Allah's religion. We have faith in Allah and we follow you. Be witness, O Jesus, that we submit to Allah by accepting his oneness and following him. The disciples also said, Our Lord, we have believed in the gospel that you revealed and we have followed the messenger, Jesus, peace be upon him. So make us of those who are witnesses to the truth and who have faith in you and your messengers. The disbelievers from the Israelites plotted to kill Jesus, peace be upon him, so Allah planned to leave them in their misguidance. And he made another person resemble Jesus, peace be upon him, on the occasion when they actually tried to murder him. Allah is the best plotter, because there can be nothing more severe than his plot against his enemies. Allah also planned against them by saying to Jesus, O oh Jesus, I will take you away alive, raise your body and soul to me, rid you of the filth of those who disbelieved you and distance you from them. I will make those who follow you part of the true religion, which includes acceptance of Muhammad, peace be upon him. And they will have greater proof and might over those who disbelieve you until the day of resurrection. Then to me alone will be your return on the day of resurrection and I will pass true judgment between you regarding your differences. As for those who disbelieved you and the truth you brought to them, I will punish them severely in the world by making them suffer being killed, imprisoned and disgraced. And in the afterlife, I will punish them in the fire of hell. They will have no one to help them against the punishment. As for those who had faith in you and the truth that you brought to them and did good actions such as prayer, charity, fasting, keeping family relations, etc. Then Allah will give them the reward of their actions in full without any reduction. This refers to the followers of the Messiah before the coming of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, whose coming was confirmed by the Messiah himself. Allah does not love those who do wrong, and the greatest wrong is to ascribe partners to Allah and to disbelieve his messengers. This account of Jesus which is recited to you is a clear sign indicating the truth of what was revealed to you. It is a perfect message for those who are mindful of Allah, as it contains nothing false. With Allah, the example of the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, is like the creation of Adam, who was born from dust without a father or mother. Allah simply said to him, Become a man. And he became as Allah willed. How do you then assume that Jesus is a God on the basis that he has no father when you accept that Adam is human despite his having no father or mother? The undoubtable truth about Jesus is that which was revealed to you by your Lord, so do not be one of those who doubt and are unsure. Instead, be firm on the truth that you have. If any one of the Christians disputes with you, O Messenger, regarding the matter of Jesus, and claims that he was not Allah's servant after the correct knowledge has come to you, then say to them, Come, let us call our sons and your sons, our women and your women, ourselves and yourselves, and let us gather together and then pray to Allah to send down his curse on those of us who are eyeing. That which has been mentioned to you about Jesus, peace be upon him, is the true tale that contains no lie or doubt. No one worthy of worship besides Allah alone. Allah is mighty in his authority and wise in his planning and instruction. If they turn away from what you have brought and do not follow you, then it is because they are corrupt. Allah knows those who cause corruption in the earth and he will recompense them for that. Say, O Messenger, O Jews and Christians, people of the scripture, come let us unite on a fair word in which we are all equal. 
that we worship Allah alone and we do not worship anyone besides him, no matter what his rank and no matter how high is his status. And that we do not take one another as lords to be worshipped and followed besides Allah. If they turn away from the truth and fairness that you call them towards, then, O believers, say to them, Bear witness that we have surrendered to Allah and are obedient to him. O people of the scripture, why do you dispute about the belief of Abraham? The Jews claimed that he was a Jew and the Christians claimed he was a Christian. You know very well that Judaism and Christianity appeared a long time after him. Can you not see the falseness of your statement and the error of your claim? You, people of the scripture, argued without knowledge with the Prophet, peace be upon him, about your religion and about what was revealed to you. Why, then, do you dispute about Abraham and his religion, which you do not know, as it is not in your book and your prophets did not discuss it? Allah knows the reality of things and you do not know. Abraham was not a Jew or Christian in belief, but he was opposed to all false religions and obedient to Allah alone. He was also not one of those who ascribed partners to Allah contrary to the idolaters of the Arabs who claimed to follow his belief. The people who are most entitled to claim a link to Abraham are those who followed him in his time. As well as this prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and those who have faith in him from this nation. Allah helps and protects the believers. Surat al-Imran, 42-68